Hey, what's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So as a continuation on our uh, mechanical uh, topic, so after we set up our project, our architectural model, after we place it in our uh, MEP project, so what we are going to do or what I'm going to show you this time is, I'm going to show you how to place mechanical equipment in your uh, project. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so this is now our architectural model. The, the one that we have set up from the last exercise. So what I'm going to do first is, I'm going to place an equipment. So let's say I'm going to start at the roof level. So I'm going to open the roof level. Okay, and then... After that, from the roof level, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place here an equipment. Okay, so I'm going to select the mechanical equipment. So here, on my roof level, I'm going to place here the AHU. Alright, so I'm going to select the systems tab, and there's the mechanical equipment. Okay, and then from the uh, load family, I'll just, uh, I just want, to show you all the families that is available, the out-of-the-box family contents when you install your Revit. So you can find it here. This is where we can find the equipment. Okay, that is MEP. Let's say our AHU is airside components, air handling units, our AHU. Okay, and then I'm going to load here this one. M Outdoor AHU Horizontal. So I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to open it. Okay. Alright, then this is now our family. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am now going to place it here. So let's say I'll just place it here. So in this exercise, the placement is not that critical. So maybe probably I'll just place it here. So by default, when you place your equipment, the height of that is zero. The offset height. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select modify and then I'm going to select the equipment here and then I change the offset. Okay, so let's say for example the height is uh, 310 from the roof. There you go. And take note that these points that you are seeing right now, so these are the connectors. Okay, and just a bit of uh, information when you create your mechanical equipment. So if you create your mechanical equipment, so usually what we use there is a non-hosted family template. So we use a non-hosted family template. Alright? So if I'm going to check the family, I select your edit family. So you will see that this one is just a simple model, an extrude, uh, extruded model. Uh, one thing that makes this model special, it's because of these connectors. Okay, so these connectors will help us to generate pipes from there and ducts as well as the power. So this is the connector of the power. Okay, so if I'm going to check the floor plan, so, uh, floor plan of this one, you see, this is actually a non-hosted family. Non-hosted, you can place it anywhere. Okay, because some of the family is wall hosted, meaning you need to have a wall in order for you to place the family. Sometimes it's ceiling hosted, so you need to have a ceiling in, uh, in order for you to place the family. But usually when we create, or most of the time, or practice, when you create a family, make sure that that family is non-hosted. Okay? So non-hosted. Anyway, so I'm now going to close this. So I'll go back to our project. Okay, so right after I place my equipment to my roof, so the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to place my uh, equipment, another equipment, so let's say our VIB or, by the way, I'm going to select this one, so this is very important also to make your model tidy up, so as you can see, there's a mark here, so I'm going to change this name. So instead of 1, so I'll just call this AH, AHU-1, alright? And then I select apply, alright, so that's the name of our uh, AHU equipment. Alright, then after I place the equipment, 
on my rooftop. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open the level 1 here. Level 1 ceiling. Okay. So this is where I'm going to place now my VAB unit. Okay. The VAB unit. So let's say I'm going to place it somewhere here. So from the systems, again, mechanical equipment. Alright, so from the properties, I, s I click the type selector and then after that, I'm going to look for VAV. Okay, this one, MVAV unit parallel fan powered. So let's say I'm going to select uh, size 2, 300 mm inlet. So I select this one. Okay, again, just like your uh, VA, uh, I mean your AHU, by default, the height of your VAV or the offset is 0. That's why you will notice you are not able to see it here on your ceiling ceiling plan. Of course, if you are in the floor plan, you'll be able to see it. But if you are on the ceiling plan and the offset is zero, so you will not be able to see your mechanical equipment. That's why you need to change the offset. So let's say, for example, the height is 3050. There you go. So you will now be able to see your equipment. Okay. Then after that, I'll just place my equipment. So let's say I'll just place it here. There you go. And then I select here, uh, modify. Okay. Now, if you want to rotate your model, let me just go ahead and turn off the thin line so I can see the line weight of my equipment. Now, if you want to rotate your equipment, so let's say the placement is not correct for your design, so you just need to select that. And then after that, you can press space bar. Okay. Just like that, if you want to rotate your model. Okay, and then you can also drag that. You can move if you want. So it's up to you. Okay, you can select that. And then you can use the move command or you can also copy. And then as you notice, there's this uh, in for your supply air. And then there's the out for your supply air. And then you also have here your uh, return as well as the power. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, uh, after I select my VAB unit, I'm going to change now the mark here. So, it's uh, it follows the last mark that I have placed on my first AHU, the AHU-1. So, automatically, it becomes AHU-2. So, it's pretty cool, right? But this is not my AHU, so this is my VAB. So, I just call it VAB-1. Alright, and then I select here apply. Okay, then after that, I'm now going to copy this. So let's say I want to place another one somewhere here. So I'm going to select this equipment. I'm going to copy. And then let's say I'm going to pick here for the base point and then I'm going to copy it. Okay, so let's say I'll just place it here. There you go. And then I select apply. Alright. So again, you can use your arrow if you want to move your equipment. Okay? Then I just select here, modify. And then, before I deselect, check this out. So automatically, it renames to VAV-2. So it's pretty handy later on if you're going to tag your VAV unit. Alright? So I'm going to select now, modify. Okay? Okay, so if I'm going to check my roof here okay so this is now the equipment and then if i check the 3d view this is my uh ahu so in my 3d view this is how it looks like okay of course you can still copy your uh, vab if you want to different floors or different part of the first floor so it's up to you but at least you now have an idea about the equipment okay so just remember the equipment if you're going to create the family, make sure it's non-hosted, all right? And make sure you are going to place now the, uh, make sure if, if you're going to create, make sure you place the connectors, all right? So going back to my level one, okay? So let's say I just want to see that in my section view. So I select my section. Okay, so let's say I'm going to create it here. This is my section from here to here. Alright, then I select modify, then I double click the head of my section to open the section. 
there you go okay so this is now my equipment here this is my VAV this is my AH so if I want I can create a duct here and then it will go up right okay so in 3d view it looks like this okay now for that's it for this exercise so for my next exercise I'm going to uh, show you how to place uh, air terminals okay that we will be connecting to our equipments okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i will get back to you as soon as i can all right and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel okay so once again this is rich from learning with rich have a nice day